Hi, Mrs. Diane. Being a sick person and trying to have a, any sort of a life is a challenge. This morning I woke up with a really bad headache and had to take my migraine headache medicine. Now it's just like, is it caused by my illness, by the Von Hippel Lindau, or is it just aging and dealing with all the things? The medical is so complex. You know, some people feel like it's a battle because it becomes your new part-time job, but maybe it's a full-time job. I have Von Hippel Lindau, a rare genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow in different parts of the body. I had a robotic left partial nephrectomy to remove two tumors on my kidney. The doctor came in on rounds already, said I'm doing good, and they want me up three or four times today. Surgery, it was like Sunday, all of a sudden, oh, the angels, and it was like, oh, I'm no longer sick from surgery. You want to talk about your cholesterol? Yeah, you know, it's been creeping up every single year. And then we look at blood pressure. Yours calculates as if you take a blood pressure medicine because of your propranolol for your migraines. And then we look at the cholesterol. If your LDL is 190, mm -hmm. you should take a stack. So you're not there yet. No. We sort of said, what is your risk per year? It's less than 1%. I would say we don't need a statin today. Okay. What's happened though is now I am on a new medication called Wellerig. Technically it's a chemotherapy because Von Hippel Lindau causes tumors to grow in all different parts of the body. And this will stop, hopefully, fingers crossed, pray it will stop them from growing. And some people have had their tumors reduced and no new tumors. However, it interacts with Ubrelvi, which has been kind of a miracle for me. The Ubrelvi has really helped when I, I have the shot um, once a month of the Amavig and I take medication every day, but every once in a while I still get that big migraine headache. And the Ubrel-V, I take that and the migraine goes away in about two hours, but it has an interaction. It's a CYP3A4, and those interact with the Wellrig. The Wellrig actually destroys the enzyme in it, breaks down the enzyme, and so it uh, won't work. You are having pretty much daily headache, is that still true? I do, I have a constant headache 24 seven. And when you get the big ones, how often has that been lately? How many times a month? Once or twice. There's actually some evidence that ginger, it can be effective for, for acute headache relief. I think having multiple layers for you to take together is going to be more effective. Sure. The last option we could, we could think about, and you could do these all together, would okay. be intranasal lidocaine. On doing this at home, just by squirting the lidocaine up your nose, and we found it to be pretty effective. I'm COVID-19 testing for the millionth time. I've lost count of how many times I've tested because before my procedures, I always have to get tested. For surgery, I had to get tested. And as you can tell, I'm sick. I have a very bad sore throat. I ran a fever. And it is January of 2022. Not a time to run a fever and not check yourself to see if you're contagious. If I am not contagious, I have worship team twice next week. If I'm contagious, I gotta make some arrangements. Hey! How are you doing, Jer? Waiting in line. It's a very nice man who decided that well, he would drive. Have come true. If you remember January of 2022, you will remember that Omicron is a big deal right now. And so lots of people getting sick. As you can see, I am in Seattle. So why are we in Seattle? We're in Seattle because we're two years into a pandemic and our leadership cannot figure out how testing is done yet. We'll figure it out eventually. Yes, in fact, the popular sickness is so popular that I cannot get a test where we, where we live. This is the closest test I could find with the nearest date. So I'm picking up groceries and I'm not going in. You can hear my voice. What do you think this means? Yeah, I contracted COVID-19. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't even know the date I got sick because I got sick and I tested and it was not COVID-19. And then the next week I got sick again and I tested and it was COVID-19. And I don't know who I've made sick because I don't know what dates. What are my symptoms? That's a great question. I have a stuffed up nose. I have a sore throat. It's not a sore now, it's just really gro gravelly sounding. And I'm tired, I have some fatigue. And uh, that's it. I've had a fever. I've had a really bad sore throat where I didn't want to swallow. And I had a horrible stomach ache for three days. But I'm definitely on the mend. And I had to cancel two gigs. How about you? Let me down, know down below. I was uh, 
a very early vaccinator. I vaccinated twice and I had the booster. It did not keep me from getting it. However, I'm not very sick, but I really believe it's Omicron, so I wouldn't be very sick anyway. Can't help but think I'm a little bit disappointed. Let me know, have you had the sickness? Are you down with the sickness? into Seattle again in a shocking turn of events. I am going to the hospital. Kind of. It's a clinic, um, a cancer clinic. We are going to see how things are going with my new medication, the Wella Rig or Belbutazan. We have an update on how it's affecting my tumors. I'll throw that up here. Not exactly rocket science to read numbers that get smaller and smaller, and even until the tumor is no longer visible. So we know the medicine is working, as they were growing unfettered without it. Um, I have a disease called von Hubel and now it's genetic and it causes tumors to grow in different parts of my body. And these scans are just of my brain. We have to talk about side effects and the trade-offs. Got out of the appointment. They gave me a soda because my blood sugar was low, apparently. I was getting there at lunchtime and didn't eat lunch. Uh, took two pokes to get my blood work, so that was kind of a bummer, but the blood work all looked good. Everything was within normal ranges. So far, we we're staying the course, three pills a day. This morning I drove to Issaquah to pick up my new glasses. It turns out that there was nothing wrong with my vision except for that I can't see. And by saying that I mean there's nothing VHL related. I'm just of a certain age and it's time for a better prescription. So I'm seeing today, these are the new ones. I don't know if I love the color, but you know, I'll get used to it. Yesterday I sent an email to my team at the cancer center that I'm continuing to have some symptoms of anemia, hot, um, cold hands, cold feet, dizziness, fatigue. I sent it off yesterday and today a nurse got back to me and she has since called me and asked me to go get my blood work. So I got my blood work done today, one shot. Now I'll be waiting for those results to see if my numbers are still pushing towards anemia. They were headed that way. When I was at the cancer center last week, but she didn't want to do anything about it. We tried a week off of my medication. That really helped with my muscles and my joint pain, but it didn't affect how I'm feeling, which she said, well, are you going for walks? And I said, I'm too dizzy to go for walks. And that finally got someone's attention, I guess. So we're gonna see what they say about the blood work I would just like them to do something to get some iron back in my system. I've been off of my medication for a week. I was going to go back on it today and they've decided to have me wait until they decide what to do. So I just got my second shingles vaccine. You have to get it within a certain time period from the first one. It hurts so bad. My arm hurts. It's like instant pain. And I hear I'm going to be sick. I mean, there's definitely been times in my life where I have missed really obvious problems and personal things. And uh, I talked to my therapist about it and he said, I'm really busy. You have a lot on your mind. Yeah, between the chronic pain and all the appointments, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. So the adventure today about being a sick person is that I woke up with a really bad headache and should have just rolled over and got back to bed. But we were headed out to Continelli, Washington to Shady Pines Resort with their trailer and my brother-in-law and his wife and their dog. And quite frankly, I'd still be sick at home. Sitting here isn't any different than sitting on the couch. Being sick doesn't take a holiday, so... And that is what it's like being a sick person, the ups and the downs. If you're sick, let me know down below. and. You can catch this video here or down here, the one that YouTube picked up just for you.